And they came over for dinner. I remember I was in ripped jeans and I was barefoot. Meghan Markle recalls meeting Prince William and Kate Middleton for the first time, barefoot and all. Now I know so much and I'm so glad I didn't then because I could just authentically be myself without so much preparedness. On Thursday, Netflix dropped the first three episodes of the six-part docuseries Harry and Meghan. And Meg gives insight into the first time she met Harry's brother and sister-in-law. I was a hugger, I've always been a hugger. I didn't realize that that is really a jarring for a lot of Brits. Meghan says she went in for the hugs, and I think our suspicions about this being a pretty cool relationship right from the start have, have been confirmed here. It also confirms what we've always known, which is that Meghan and Kate are two very, very different women. You know, that's why they were never going to be best friends. There is a forward-facing way of being, and then you close the door and you go, oh, great, okay, we can relax now. But that formality carries over on both sides. And that was surprising to me. I think that's a big misconception about the royal family. It's all too easy to just cast them off as, as looking um, icy and out of touch and aloof. There is a lot of love and a lot of warmth in that family as well. Of course, Harry and his brother have been at odds, especially after Harry's decision to step back from his senior royal duties in 2020. William simply cannot forgive Harry, not just for leaving, but for how he left and his explosive tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021. There's clearly still a lot of hurt, a lot of resentment, and a degree of mistrust, I think, on both parts. And while Harry says his family was impressed by Meghan when they first met her, he claims there was one thing that kept them from taking their relationship seriously. The fact that I was dating an American actress was probably what clouded their judgment more than anything else at the beginning. Oh, she's an American actress. This won't last. The actress thing was the biggest problem, funny enough. So how does the royal family feel about the couple's new project? Well, the docuseries kicks off with a disclaimer that reads, quote, members of the royal family declined to comment on the content within this series. But now a source tells ET the royal family is not aware of any such approach for comment. I'm told by a senior palisade it's a case of keep calm and carry on, and let's not get too distracted by this. Meanwhile, a Netflix source tells ET that communications offices for King Charles and Prince William were contacted in advance and given the right to reply to the claims in the series. ET's asked the streamer for proof. 